They mix a potent blend of humor and hemp. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 stoner comedies. Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Dude, where is your car? Dude, where's my car? Where's his car, dude? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I told you last night I was tripping balls. Number 10, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Kicking off our countdown is the wild story written by Hunter S. Thompson, based on a trip he had taken to Las Vegas. On his way to cover a desert race for Rolling Stone magazine, he showcases the sheer strangeness of the mind while intoxicated. The film features paranoia, confusion, giant lizard hotel receptionists, and bats from hell. May I have a little kiss before you go? I'm very lonely here. Number 9. Dude, Where's My Car? Ashton Kutcher and Sean William Scott have lost their memory after being completely blitzed, and the pair embarks on an adventure to find their car. Wait a second. Let's recap. Last night, we lost my car, we accepted stolen money from a transsexual stripper, and now some space nerds want us to find something we can't pronounce. I hate to say it, Chester, but maybe we should cut back on the shibbying. <sighs> Thanks, dude. Along the way, they encounter hot alien babes, attempt to help each other read their mysterious tattoos, and order from a hilarious drive through restaurant lady. I refuse to play your Chinese food mind games. <laughs> no! No, and then! And then? Number 8, Super Troopers. This film features a gang of less than intelligent state troopers that love messing with stone drivers. They try their best to figure out who's been bringing in massive amounts of pot to their jurisdiction. Oh, hell! Give me the goddamn soap! Number 7, Half Baked. In Dave Chappelle's comedic breakout role, he and company decide to start selling pot they stole from the medical research clinic where they work. However, a local drug dealer soon finds out that they're cutting into his action and over-the-top shenanigans ensue. Aside from Chappelle strutting his stuff as rapper and ganja connoisseur Sir Smoke-a-Lot, we get to experience a hilarious drug-fueled cameo by Bob Saget. Marijuana is not a drug. I used to suck for coke. I seen him! Now that's an addiction, man. You ever suck some for marijuana? Huh? No. Number six, Pineapple Express. It's like God's vagina. Oh. What, do you want to bathe in it? I just want to live in here. Yes, you want to be it? Oh, my God. I just want to shove it up my nose and have that smell all day. That's amazing. Shove it's it anywhere you beautiful. like. Beautiful. This comedy blends the best of stoner comedies and action flicks. In the film, a low-level processing server and his bumbling pot dealer go on the run from vicious mobsters. With its focus on friendship and bizarre heroism, it gives an entirely new generation of slackers and potheads a reason to get blazed. I shot someone who was already dead, so that doesn't really count as a murder. But apparently you, you hit him with your car, I'm told. That, that you killed him. Yeah. Okay, so I did murder somebody. Crazy. You murdered, man. Not a big deal. That's cool. Number five, Friday. Craig has just been canned from his job on his day off, and his parents threaten to kick him out of the house. So he and his best friend Smokey spend the day smoking up in their South Central neighborhood. Adding to their problems is the fact that Smokey owes an angry drug dealer $200 for weed he was supposed to sell, but smoked instead. Meanwhile, they must also contend with a neighborhood bully and relationship troubles. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this, but I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Number four, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. This buddy stoner comedy follows Harold and his best pal Kumar over the course of a single evening as they get baked. The duo is overcome with the inevitable munchies and decide to take a trip to a particular fast food restaurant. Along the way, they encounter diseased raccoons, imagine giant anthropomorphic bags of weed, ride a cheetah, and encounter a coked out Doogie Hauser. I want 30 sliders, five french fries, and four large cherry cokes. I want the same, except make mine diet cokes. Chuck. Number three, The Big Lebowski. There's little doubt that Jeff Bridges' portrayal of The Dude is one of the greatest stoner heroes in movie history. Based on a real life friend of the Coen brothers, this classic includes bowling, pot, severed toes, and a gun-toting Vietnam vet all within a mystery story. What do you do for the recreation? Oh, the usual. Bowl, drive around, the occasional acid flashback. <laughs> 
Number two, Cheech and Chong's Up In Smoke. Up In Smoke deserves to be on the short list for almost single-handedly pioneering the entire stoner comedy film genre. The first feature-length film released by the comedy duo was an extremely controversial smash hit when it was released in the late 70s and follows Cheech and Chong's efforts to avoid the cops, pick up chicks, and of course, get unbelievably stoned. Hey, I really like your car, man. Oh, you do? Wow, did you do this yourself? Yeah, yeah I customized it myself, wow. man. Wow, looks fantastic, man. Number one. Dazed and Confused, the crown jewel of teen comedies and stoner flicks, the film follows a group of teens during their last day of high school in the summer of 1976. While only a modest success at the box office, the film has since become a cult hit among both potheads and cinephiles. I mean, they, they, what, did you ever look at a dollar bill, man? There's some spooky stuff going on on a dollar bill, man. Yeah. I mean, and it's green, too. It's most memorable for its brutal ass paddling, insane amounts of cannabis, and a noticeably chunkier Ben Affleck. The end result is one of the greatest stoner comedies of all time. We must work untiringly so that our children are obliged to learn the truth. Because it is only through knowledge that we can safely protect them. Failing this, the next tragedy may be that of your daughter, or your son, or yours, or yours, or yours. Or yours.